my child learned an important life yes life life lesson life lesson, lesson yesterday yep so she comes home from school all jazzed up all jazzed up like runs into the office and looks at my computer and she's like daddy where's where's the weather it's supposed to be on the taskbar wow and i said sweetie this is a great lesson i found something you like <laughs> And Microsoft, Microsoft took, it, took away. it away. Get used to uh, it. Just send, send that to Panos Panay, you know? Dude, she was so happy. Disappointing children this. since 2015. She was so happy. She was she wanted to come home and show me you could click on it, you could see the weather, and you could search for different like locales. Yep. And you learn can look about up the weather. Uh, what revealing clothes that uh, celebrities wore at some recent event. That kind of stuff. Yeah. And in other life lessons, Paul is on a different. Audio yeah, I'm can. testing testing the microphone. I'm going to bring to Mexico because I'm not bringing that giant thing. I can tell you that. We're talking about the mic, not you. Right? <laughs> I am bringing that giant thing. That's a it's <laughs> a key part of the trip. Well, there you go. Um, hilarious headline from you, mm-hmm. only because <laughs> everyone knows right where I'm taking this. Google. Okay launches assault on apple's iMessage abuse why don't they just launch another messaging app maybe they'll maybe they'll you know i think after 15 years and approximately eight clients uh google understands that strategy has failed and now they're (laughs) look in their defense um there is an open standard that uh, or a standard that um, does everything iMessage does and apple just needs to support it Mm -hmm. (laughs) it's not a big deal you know, like bringing iMessage to Android, which is one of the things Apple did consider doing in the past. And what seems like an obvious thing to do to, you know, is another incentive for people to get into their ecosystem is not what Google wants, right? They don't want an, like a proprietary Apple thing on Android. They want everyone just to interoperate. And it's a reasonable request. Yeah. So the hilarious outcome of this is like a monkey paw thing. Apple should just come out and be like, all right, fine. We'll bring iMessage to Android. Mm-hmm. Those users will now have an option and it just blow anything else Google does out of the water. Right. Yep. Yeah. I, I, uh, I, I wrote this in my article, you know, I, when I, I switched the iPhone recently, three people on day one contacted me because of uh, an, an exchange of text messages to say, Oh, you switched to an iPhone. Mm-hmm. And those people were all children. Um, my child, my, my son, <laughs> like, my like daughter. actual children or yeah, we, we, it was, my son, my daughter, and my neighbor Matt, mm-hmm. <laughs> was, you know, in many ways a child. Um, very excited that I had switched to an iPhone. So we're all excited because now I don't have to see. Everybody's been there. You're in a group chat with that one guy that doesn't have an iPhone, and then you bully him because that's what we do as humans, right? We push him out. Uh, well, the bigger problem, from my perspective is what happens on the reverse side, right? So I've been using Android for the past several years, obviously. Mm-hmm. I was just thinking about this today. I, I used to not, last time I used an iPhone full time was the iPhone 6S Pro Plus or whatever it was called. And there was the year we were in Lyon. And so it must've been, it must've been 2015. And I bet if I go back and look at 2015, 2015 is probably the year that the Nexus 6P came out. Uh, if it isn't, it's the year the Pixel 1 came out because ever mm. since then I've been using Google phones, you know, and, you know, to great effect, as everyone knows. Um, I apparently hate myself. Anyway, um, we have these group messages with people who are mixed, you know, iPhone, Android. And, man, it is irritating if you're an Android user to get these, like, humongous messages. Like, someone on an iPhone will, like, probably put a heart emoticon or something in, and it says you know, Sheila loved, and then, mm-hmm. like, the entire, it just quotes the entire text message. It, like, it really, the iMessage thing really pollutes group messages that are mixed between iPhone and Android. It's, it's horrible. Like, mm-hmm. it's really horrible. And um, that is not a reason to switch. I don't, I don't mean it like that, but as as much as iPhone users probably look down on the green bubble people, mm-hmm. from the perspective of an, of an Android, I actually think it's far more annoying um, to be confronted by these you know how it's like a, how Apple expresses a what is probably a simple emoticon or whatever yep. they call it as this incredible blurb of text. God help you if you like something long, you know, because your phone's going beep, beep, beep. It's like, it's just like, oh, flying you, and you know, this. there was a meeting in Cupertino 
engineers yeah. sitting around a table. They're like, well, how are we going to handle this when we're in right. a group text message? And some guy went, I know, we'll annoy the show out of them. Oh, no, it is, it's perfect because it's anno- like it's purposefully annoying. Like yeah. it's, yeah. And, and you can, and, and you have a perfect defense when someone says, why don't you just put a, a heart or a like to something in there? And it's like, oh, no, no, no. It's important that this thing be grouped with the thing they're liking because the message could have continued. So we have to do it that way. <laughs> it's mm-hmm. like, no, you don't. It could just, you know, it, it would be better to be a little confusing about what you liked than it would be to just regurgitate into, you know, huge text messages. But whatever. Anyway, yeah, so it's a real issue. I think it's maybe the simplest thing to say. The yeah. solution is very obvious. Um, and Apple will never do it. Oh, of course. Right? Why would they? Yeah. Well, yeah, well, the only reason I can think of is regulatory. Yeah, like I was going to say um, the, you know, the big hand of the government would be. Yeah, and I mean that implicitly or explicitly. Like if um, enough regulatory agencies announce they're investigating Apple for this iMessage thing, mm-hmm. you could picture Apple at WWDC one year saying, you know what, we're going to make this change. You're welcome. We love the world. Privacy is a human right, blah, 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 whatever. Um, because, you know, one of the issues here is that RCS messages and iMessages are encrypted and SMS, MMS messages are not. They're insecure. Mm-hmm. Um, so Google, or rather, uh, Apple could just do the right thing for the planet. Um, and I guess we'll see what they're really made. We already know what they're really made up there. In other so, iPhone news. Um, <laughs> is there more? There, well, more? <laughs> you'd never, nobody would ever know this other than me. Okay. My parents are updating their iPhone 6s. Ooh. 6. Today. And the yeah. only reason, the only reason they're updating it is no joke that some of the apps they use just no longer work. Like, yeah, yeah, I can see that. Um, it's not supported anymore, right? Right. Um, I don't remember which one it was, but it was either the six or the six S, which I, you know, use both of the whatever the plus version was. I think it was called plus, whatever it was called, the big one. Um, remember one of them was like really. It was kind of. It was almost like soft, and you could kind of bend it. Oh, and so yeah, people yeah. would like put it in their back pocket and they would actually mm-hmm. curve to contort to their behind. And um, that was something I, I must have been this. I think it was the original six. Um, but I experienced that like I, and I I put it down on the table one time and it had like a slight little bend to it. And I was like, mm-hmm. oh, God, <laughs> it's like, you know, it was like it was made out of uh, not Play-Doh, but something really like a soft, like a lead, soft mm-hmm. lead or something instead of like a hard uh, metal. Very strange. So be, I'm going to be curious to see, uh, according to the message he sent this morning, it has been eight years. Eight. Since the six. Since since they've updated. Since they got the yeah. Oh, since they updated the phone. Yeah. 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 A lot has changed, Brad. Yeah. I... <laughs> he's um, like, the, the funny thing is he's going to. cameras at all? I mean, he's going to com- completely be... skip 3D touch. Like. Yeah. Right. Like completely skip it. Because oh, I had the it was a physical button, like a press yeah. They button. still have the home button, so that's all gone. So I'm gonna get a bunch of angry text messages here in a little bit of like, how, what are the gestures? I don't like gestures. Where's the home button? I honestly, I, there, there's a lot of gesture resistance. I bet if you talk to Mary Jo Foley today, she would tell you she still uses the three buttons on the, like the virtual buttons instead mm-hmm. of gestures. But I get you know, I think you would agree to this. Anyone who uses a phone probably, the gestures are the greatest thing that ever yep. happened to phones, especially the I, back one. I love it. I just love yep. all of. I just the whole. And and one of the things that Google did right in copying Apple, by the way, was literally copying the iPhone uh, navigation gestures. Um, perfect, you mm-hmm. know. So, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see how that. They'll gets. get there. How old are your parents out there? Old there? What? The sixties? Seventies? Seventies? Yeah. They'll, they'll they'll get it. They'll, they'll get it. They'll, but I mean, they'll was... wonder why they waited so long. Unless they get the bill, and then they'll wonder why they didn't wait longer. And my dad told me that Verizon was going to offer them like fifteen dollars for a trade in of their yeah, phones. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they're it's... just going to recycle them. Yeah, I mean, there's what? Um, what? Which ones do they get? Uh, I think they're just getting regular thirteen. I tried yeah. to convince them to get the thirteen Pro. I'm like, Dad, you buy a phone once every eight yep, years. Yep. Um, get the Pro because it's roughly the same size, but I don't know if they're up there now or they have an appointment. I don't know what they're doing. I tried to remove myself from this process for multiple <laughs> yeah, yeah. sanitary reasons of like, you go to Verizon, let them deal with you. Mm. <laughs> like I, Well, plus, uh, I think that would be uncomfortable for you as well on both sides of the conversation. You know, the Verizon guy is going to sell them on nonsense and your parents are going to not know what they're doing and it's it'd just be frustrating on both ends you know 
Yeah, thankfully they're pretty frugal when it comes to these sort of things. Which, again, why my parents had phones for eight years. <laughs> well, yeah. no, it'd be good for them if they don't. Yeah. I don't know. I was just thinking, you know, not to go on and on about this, but I mean, uh, the other day I was looking at the iPhone and I was thinking to myself, you know, like when this thing works properly and it just works properly all the time, frankly, I really don't need to use it that much. <laughs> you know what mm-hmm. I mean? Like I'm not on it all day. Like I'm not like, oh my God, what's going on in the feed, you know? Uh, or playing games or running different apps and stuff like I use it for very specific things and that's it and I kind of don't really think about it that much otherwise and uh, that's good in one in one sense but it's also like it's like a thousand bucks you know like it's um yeah I paid a thousand bucks to not have to use a phone that much I don't it's know, like it's me weird. in golf I play money to play not as much golf I mean sort of the right the point of golf is to play as least amount of golf as possible interesting that's a good point right right Huh, that's a paradox. It's not quite up there with the great, world's great scientific paradoxes, but it's. it's I don't think Newton's thinking this one over. <laughs> Newton's paradox of golf. <laughs>